Yep, it's definitely winter outside. Honestly, November is probably my least favorite month of the year. It is getting so dark and so gray that I actually end up spending most of my time at home reflecting about things. And this month I actually found an old journal of mine where me, a teenager version of me, I was reflecting on things that I want to achieve by the time I was 30. And boy oh boy, that's, that's something. I'm 32 years old now and my life is nothing like I imagined it back when I was a teenager. And reading through all of those wishes that I have, dreams and aspiration, it made me, well, first of all, cringe a little bit. And then second of all, it just made me laugh and feel how, how, how hard it can be sometimes to be a teenager, how many things we think we need to accomplish where we don't even know who we are. So here is a breakdown for my younger self, for my teenage self of the things that I have not accomplished by the age of 30. Starting off with career, because oh man, I spent quite many lines there in my journal thinking about what a, an amazing career I'm gonna have, where I would start from the bottom in one company and I would just continue growing, growing until I become eventually a manager. And surprise, here I am. I am not a top manager of any company, even though I'm 32. So yeah, when it comes to career, I'm sorry, it didn't work out. When it comes to personal life, of course, I, I, I thought that I would be married and I thought that I would have kids. I thought that I would have a husband and beautiful, beautiful family. And now I have none. I don't have husband, no kids, basically no family. I never got married. So that's a bummer, I guess. Then moving on to the wealth part, I thought that I would be super rich. I thought that I would be a millionaire, buying rich things, dressing nicely, driving nice cars and you know all this kind of stuff. So, and also having multiple sources of income. That didn't happen. As well as the next point, I don't own my business. I'm not a businessman. I don't have a business. I work for somebody. I'm an employee of a certain company. So. Unfortunately, no, here as well, we didn't reach the goal. And last but not the least, I also thought that I would be super sporty and super athletic. I would have a six pack and I would be just looking amazing. And here I am looking quite average. I don't have a six pack. I don't have any pack at all. And I'm quite mediocre when it comes to my body, I guess. So yeah, this is it. This, this were some of the major things, apart from the fact that I was dreaming that a certain boy from my class would fall in love with me and things like that. So again, here I am, I'm 32 and I have not accomplished those things. And if somebody asks me, in particular, my teenage self, if she asks me, hey, do you feel sad about it? Do you feel disappointed? Well, how in general it makes you feel? I would be like, I'm chill. I'm not sad. I'm not disappointed. I couldn't care less <laughs> because you know what? Looking back on all these goals and looking back also on the, uh, the past 10 years of my life, I realized on how many things I have actually accomplished and how truly truly important for me they are compared to the goals that my teenage version had. So yeah, let's go maybe to the sofa where I would talk more about what I have actually accomplished in my life. Oh yeah, that's comfy, that's better. So have I managed to accomplish anything at all? I mean, 
at first I thought, look at me talking so proudly of the things that I have not accomplished. But then again, they are dreams of a teenage girl who knew nothing or, well, little to nothing about life. And here I am, 30-something, and even though I am not accomplished grown up, who has it all figured out, who has an amazing perfect life well, where everything works out the way she wants, I'm still quite proud of where I am and what I have accomplished. So let's break down number one, my career. Yes, I'm not a top manager, um, even though, well, my job title includes manager, but I'm not a top manager. I don't manage a team and I have not built a career where I started from the bottom and reached amazing success, even though that's the way my career started at some point. But then I actually, actually got disappointed and I realized that maybe it's not for me. I got burned out and well, long story short, at 30, I switched my career and I started something in a completely different field and it was scary and it has unraveled some of the things inside me, <laughs> deeply, deeply hidden things, but I worked through that and now I'm, I'm working and I have actually side projects and I'm I'm learning something new every single day and I, I'm really excited about that and I, I couldn't be more proud about my career. And when it comes to my personal life, yes, I don't have a husband and I don't have kids, even though I could have, I could have had all of that, but I've been in quite a long relationship and it was sort of toxic. and. It made me realize that, well, it's not the end game of having a husband and kids. It's not the end game, of course, as this most girl thinks. And now I've met a love of my life and I couldn't be more happier. At the same time, I also realized that a relationship is something you need to work hard on and it takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of time. But when you're in a healthy, great relationship where you actually feel like you maybe want to settle down, um, this is just this is just precious and amazing. So look at me. I'm, I'm really happy about that. This is definitely an achievement for me. And then moving on to some other things, I actually felt like I wouldn't mention any of the material things, even though while well, I own like apartment and a car, but truth is as time goes by material things they don't make me as excited as they used to and they are no longer like the big goals for myself so I want to focus on what I learned because I think these are the biggest achievements and the biggest accomplishments so far so when it comes to my personal life yeah I started therapy by the way some time ago quite a while ago and while well, therapy is amazing, especially with a good therapist, it helps me grow, it helps me think differently and has uh, have an outlook on my life that I probably would not ever had. So therapy is great. I'm, I'm happy and proud about that. And I learned over the past two, 10 years to value myself and to set boundaries, to say no, you know, all these things where you actually become self-confident and you gain self-respect. So I'm really proud of that. This is amazing. I've learned to be myself. I can now say who I am, what I want, what I don't want, what I need and all these kinds of stuff. I'm less and less influenced by other people's lives and their opinions and their, um, their desires and wishes. And one other thing is worth mentioning is that I actually, well, I don't care very much of what other people think. I care so much about what I think of myself uh, and other people in a way, in a bad way, you know, negative way, they don't matter as much. So this is, this is great accomplishment and achievement. Uh, what else? What else I got on my mind? Well, I think I've learned to make mistakes. And this is also really important. I used to be afraid of mistakes. Now I've learned to make them and failure is good. Sometimes failure is okay. And sometimes it's really amazing. So 
I've learned that and I think it helps me along the way a lot so again really happy and excited about this even though I didn't learn how to cook because of course in my memoirs from the childhood I was an amazing cook I eat very well and I nourish my body and I take care of my body the way I've never used to and I've learned to well to cherish it and love it and isn't that an achievement I think it is so generally I think um, yeah of course it's easy to compare myself to my younger self because she again was quite stupid <laughs> maybe in 10 years i would be looking back at this video and i would be like oh my god that doesn't make any sense this is stupid this is nothing maybe not we'll see but the most important thing is that it matters to me and the most important thing is that i don't feel like a failure i don't feel like even though i have not accomplished some of these major things that people are expected to accomplish it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all because I'm in harmony with myself and I'm really looking forward and I'm excited to every single day and next steps that I'm going to achieve. So yeah, thank you for staying. If you stayed, this was a bit personal, but anyways, I'm really happy. And if you want to share something, some things that you have not achieved, how it makes you feel. And maybe if this video helps you to change a bit your outlook on your life, not thinking anymore that you're a failure um, I would be really happy about that and yeah other than that have a precious amazing beautiful day and I'm I'm looking forward to seeing you again so bye bye